Vitamin B3, also known as niacin, is one of the eight B vitamins. It plays a role in converting the food we eat into energy. It helps the body to use protein and fats, and it keeps the skin, hair, and nervous system healthy. Other possible benefits of vitamin B3 stems from its potential cholesterol-lowering, antioxidative, and anti-inflammatory properties. Other names for vitamin B3 include nicotinamide, nicotinic acid, and vitamin PP because it prevents pellagra. The body excretes any niacin it does not need in urine. The body does not store niacin and so people must consume it in food every day. A healthful diet can provide all of a person's vitamin B3 needs. Vitamin B3 deficiency is rare in the United States. Deficiency symptoms. Food sources of niacin such as cooked brown rice can help prevent a deficiency. In the past, niacin deficiency was common, especially in the southern states of the US. Now, however, most people get enough vitamin B3 in their diets. According to the Office of Dietary Supplements, ODS, a person who lacks vitamin B3 may experience a pigmented rash on the skin that is exposed to the sun, rough appearance to the skin, bright red tongue, fatigue or apathy, vomiting, constipation and diarrhea, circulatory problems, depression, headache, memory loss. In severe cases, hallucinations. A severe lack of vitamin B3 can result in pellagra. The condition can be fatal. Factors that can lead to low levels of B3 include having a diet low in tryptophan or a condition that reduces the body's ability to convert tryptophan to niacin such as heart knob disease or carcinoid syndrome. Undernutrition, for example due to alcohol use disorder, anorexia and inflammatory bowel disease. A low intake of vitamin B2, B6 or iron as this can reduce the amount of tryptophan that converts to niacin uses in medicine. In the past, some people have combined vitamin B3 with statin use as a treatment to control cholesterol. However, research into this has produced mixed results and some people have had adverse effects. For this reason, the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association do not recommend using this treatment. Risks The amount of vitamin B3 found in food does not cause side effects. However, taking high doses of vitamin B3 as a supplement can result in adverse effects. This include flushed or itchy skin, nausea, vomiting, constipation, headache, rash, dizziness. Excess vitamin B3 can also reduce glucose tolerance and insulin resistance, trigger an attack in people with gout, result in eye problems, lead to gastrointestinal problems, increase the risk of liver damage, lower blood pressure, leading to a loss of balance and risk of falls. Recommended intake. If a doctor recommends niacin supplements, be sure to use the correct dosage. The National Institute of Health NIH Dietary Supplements Label Database recommends 16 mg a day of vitamin B3 for anyone of 4 years of age or over who is consuming a 2000 calorie diet. On this basis, those who eat a well-balanced diet will tend to consume enough niacin in their food. Vitamin B supplement is available for purchase but people should check first with a doctor to make sure they are safe to take. Food sources. The following foods are good sources of vitamin B3. Beef liver. A 3 oz portion contains 14.9 mg or 75% of a person's daily value. DV. Grilled chicken breast. A 3 oz portion contains 10.3 mg or 52% of DV daily value. Turkey breast. A 3 oz portion has 10.0 mg or 50% of DV. Sockeye salmon. A 3 oz piece contains 8.6 mg or 43% of DV. Cooked brown rice. One cup provides 5.2 mg or 26% of DV. Enriched breakfast cereal. One serving contains 5.0 mg or 25% of DV. Dry roasted peanuts. One ounce of these nuts contains 4.2 mg or 21% of DV. Foods that are high in tryptophan are good sources of niacin. The body needs tryptophan to make protein but if there is extra, it can convert it to niacin. Pellet
Pellegra in the US. Pellegra symptoms include changes in skin color. In countries where corn and rice are the main sources of nutrition, Pellegra is still a public health problem. Corn and rice have a low levels of vitamin B. In 1914, the US Public Health Service asked Dr. Joseph Goldberger to go to the south of the country to investigate and deal with Pellegra. Rates of Pellegra were much higher in the southern states than in the north. Dr. Goldberger inspected prisons, psychiatric hospitals, and orphanages. He found that Pellegra rates among the children, prisoners, and patients were considerably higher than rates among the staffs. And he concluded that Pellegra was not an infection, but that it was probably related to diet. When staff added brass yeast to the diet of those people they were in charge of, all the signs and symptoms of Pellegra disappeared. In 1937, scientists confirmed the niacin connection. Niacin can both prevent and cure Pellegra. Now, Pellegra is rare in the US because the diet of most people provides sufficient vitamin B3, partly due to the enrichment of food with the vitamin. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, lists the discovery of niacin's link with Pellegra and the nutritional improvements that have led to its decrease in its list of top 10 public health achievements from 1900 to 1999. Hi, thanks for watching to the end. I hope this video has been informative and helpful. If you like this video and you would like to see more contents like this, kindly like, share, leave a comment in the comment section and also please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thanks for watching to the end. Have a nice day and look out for the next video.